The Council of Governors has commenced the Children's Devolution Conference in Kiambu County, an event that was officially opened by the Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang. The three-day conference has brought together learners from across 45 counties, teachers, government officials and various stakeholders, and is said to provide a platform for the children to engage with their leaders and give them an overview of what they will want to see from their governance. Now, as our very own Grace Ahati now reports, the event comes ahead of this year's main devolution conference, which is said to be held in Wasingishu County from the 15th to the 19th of August this year, under the theme 10 years of devolution, the present and the future. Host governor. Hundreds of learners across 45 counties in Kenya have converged in Kiambu County for a three-day children's devolution conference organized by the Council of Governors in partnership with the Mpesa Foundation, among other partners. <laughs> Throughout the conference, the children will engage with the various leaders present, including Kiambu Governor Kimani Omatangi, Mombasa Governor Abdul Swamad Nasir, and Wajia Governor Ahmed Abdullahi, among others, to voice their concerns and expectations from their leaders. Speaking while officially opening the event, Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang noted that the government has invested in education to cater for the welfare of learners across the country. Almost 30% of our budget, 628 billion shillings, is set aside to take care of yourselves as our children. So as government, this is one area that we put in a lot of focus so that we are able to give you free primary education. We are able to give you free day school education at the secondary school level. We are able to pay for your examination, both our children in public and private schools. We are able to make sure that our children with special needs are mainstreamed in our education system. Dr. Kipsang added that the ministry will continue to work closely with county governments to address the challenges facing the education sector for the benefit of the children in the country. I know there are challenges, but we shall continue to deal and surmount these challenges together, including infrastructure, including shortage of teachers, including sometimes challenges on instructional materials. We shall continue to work together to ensure that we deal with these and be able to make that particular requirements of our teacher-student ratios to be reasonable enough so that our children can be able to benefit in what we are doing. The Council of Governors has also acknowledged that children's voices in the country matter, hence through the conference, the children will voice their ideas and also be impacted in order to realize their full potential. Let this conference be a celebration of unity, diversity, and collaboration. Together, we can build a future where every child's voice is heard. Every child in all these centers in Kiambu County will be provided with nutrition or nutritious uji or porridge in the morning. And every child in Kiambu County will have an egg every day for three days in a week. On his part, the Kenya Children Assembly President Samuel Smith urged the learners to seize the opportunity they have with their leaders to be vibrant, speak out and interact with them fully. So I would like to urge you, my fellow children, to be vi vibrant and speak out. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch, I'm Grace Ahati. <laughs>